Apis mellifera, our honeybees. Hi, I'm Mark, up on the coast of Maine. Let's take a look through one of our observation hives. Our bees will come and go through this outside entrance. These are an Italian strain of bees, gentle and productive, and a favorite of professional beekeepers and new beekeepers alike. Starting at the top, we see lots of capped honey. This hive has done well this summer, and they will have plenty of food to get through a main winter. That's all solid capped honey, probably 8 to 10 pounds of it per frame. Wouldn't you like to just dip a spoon in there? Here in this frame, we see a bit of burr comb built on the glass. I don't mind a little bit of burr comb in an observation hive, just here and there. We can see their work in cross-section. Down here in the brood area, we see a classic brood frame with plenty of honey and pollen. This will keep the hive strong, providing plenty of new bees. During the busy foraging season, a worker bee will live only four to six weeks, and numbers are important when the bloom is on. The center of the brood is surrounded with capped honey and thin honey nectar being cured into honey. And here's some stored pollen, which provides protein. All these bees you see here are doing different jobs. There's one queen, many drones, and thousands upon thousands of female workers. Some of the workers will be nurse bees, some are comb builders, some are hive maintenance bees, some are guard bees, and some are foragers. And down here at the bottom of the hive, we see foragers hanging out, resting for the next day's work out in the field. And here's a maintenance bee, carrying out a deceased bee, or perhaps an uninvited dead robber from another hive. And here are some drone cells. They're larger than the other cells above. Now back in the brood area, we find a handful of lazy drones taking a nap. They're larger and have no stinger. I'm kind of fond of handing a drone to a friend who's watching me work and watching him squirm. The drones are the male bees and they serve only one purpose, to fertilize a virgin queen. They have the life of Riley, just eating honey and snoozing and perhaps dreaming of that new queen. That is, until winter, when they're kicked out of the hive and left to perish. A winter colony doesn't need useless mouths to feed. Oh, and the mating deed does end their life. And here's more stored pollen. In the brood area, we see developing larvae. Workers will be feeding the larva until it begins the pupa stage and is capped over. And here, meanwhile, foragers are coming in loaded with pollen and nectar. First, they would tell other foragers where the good resources are. This classic figure eight dance describes the direction and the distance to a good bloom area. You'll see other foragers paying attention. Notice the light beige 
of the pollen on her legs. This is probably from the white asters this time of year. And here's a girl with a load of goldenrod. Again, she'll be advertising the location first, then looking for a cell to offload the pollen. And here, she's found a cell and is scraping the pollen out of her pollen sacks. Next, she'll be looking for another girl to transfer the nectar to. She's carrying the nectar in her stomach. There she goes. That other girl will further develop the nectar, then feed it to a larva. She might make royal jelly and feed it to create a new queen, or just deposit it as honey in a honey cell. Now let's turn the hive and see if we can't find that queen. This is our swing view model and it mounts on the wall and swings 180 degrees. Again, this side is loaded with honey. It's fall and they're in perfect shape for a long, cold Maine winter with plenty of honey to get them through. And there she is, Her Royal Highness. If you'll pardon my anthropomorphing, I've named her Trebella. She's spawned three new swarms from this hive. Bella is looking around for clean cells to lay eggs in. She can lay as many as a thousand eggs a day in the summer foraging season. I think she approves of that cell. Yep. Notice her attending bees, her court, if you will. She doesn't like that one. She doesn't like that one. She likes that one though. Bella will lay an egg like a tiny seed. The egg will develop into a larva and be fed by nurse bees. It will grow for six days, then be capped as it becomes a growing pupa. After another 14 days, it will emerge and join the colony. And another one. Good girl, Bella. When a queen isn't busy laying eggs, she'll be resting, and she'll be nurtured by her court of nurse bees. They will feed her and clean her and help to spread her pheromones around. While she's maybe the most important bee in the hive, the colony is like one mind, made up of a community of all minds. What's best for one is best for all. Well, that said, does look like Bella is perhaps a bit vain. She looks like she's fixing her face. She's well taken care of. It's no wonder a queen can live for many years and lay millions of eggs. And she's off, back to work. It takes 21 days from the egg stage for a new bee to develop and join the colony. And here's a new little girl just coming out. She's probably wondering what she's gotten herself into. I've kept bees since I was a kid, and I've learned a lot from them. I don't think they've learned anything from me. Of course they give us honey, but more importantly, 
They are the major pollinator in our world. Think about that. Without bees, much of our food wouldn't grow. Without bees, much of the diversity and beauty in our natural world would just disappear. And there's the welcome lady, I guess communicating something. Bees are keystone to our lives. And on a timely note, our human society could take some pointers from the selfless cooperation in a colony of bees. For the first few minutes, this little girl will be shaky and unsteady, stretching and rubbing herself off. Ouch. And now she's looking more like a bee, with some color, but still wobbly. Well, thanks for joining us. We've seen just a few of the activities in this colony of these marvelous, important, likable, keystone creatures, our honeybees. There's much more to see in an observation hive, so check our video library at bonterrabees.com for new, informative, and entertaining bee videos, and perhaps a few surprises.